key elements to a kick-ass heavy song? Damn, that's so subjective because art is super subjective. Anything could be super heavy. For us, man, I'm into the bouncy groove shit, dude. If that shit bounces and grooves and you're like bobbing your head and just everything's hitting with it, everything fucks about that song. I love that shit. So as long as it's bouncy and groovy, that makes it heavy for me. It's groove. That's the only word that's important here. Groove. Uh, oh shit, I don't know that there's a formula. It depends on who you are and what you want. For me, it just depends on what I'm trying to do at that time. Like, you know, for, for me, I want it to sound fucking horrifying. So, <laughs> I want to communicate an idea in a horrifying way, you know? Like, it can be heavy, but it, I, I don't want it to only be heavy. I want it to scare the shit out of you. Like, this, as horrifying as it can get. Like, real terror shit. I think the best, the, the coolest part about this question is that there is no such thing as a key element to a heavy song. Mm. If you watch the show tonight, Sangwa Sogamba and Cruelty, Vomit Fourth Gates to Hell Dead Body, you'll see that it, like not one single song in any band set list is the same. They all have these different codes, but Big Pit. <laughs> Need a good payoff. Big Pit, big payoff. You got a, a reason to make it to the end, to me, is like the only criteria payoff can be a blast though absolutely payoff could be anything that feels like oh I, I'm, I waited for I this. love a build up to a fast part yeah it's incredible oh when you pull that off so just give, just give me a reason to get to the end then get. there's those 10 minute doom songs that just oh. got that one hard ass riff in the middle that's and you're all like, it takes. oh shit Den- or a sick Den- melody even yeah, huge you could go in you can go any direction you gotta like there's there's great bands with great songs with no parts mm. so you gotta like parts or exist for re- moments. Moments are good. Create a moment in the song. Stop. Let it breathe. Let it build, and then let it rock, and mm. then give, and then let it keep going. Get me to the end. So that I, when it ends, I go. <laughs> that was. It. I gotta hear that again. Yeah. Because if I don't want to hear it again, what's the point? Immediately after. <sighs> it's a good feeling. Of course, riff, man. Always riff. I am. I like to think of myself as a riff lord, riff man, riff vortex, all riff, right? So you sit down with your guitar, and that's how I speak, is through riffs. So I think the main thing is you find that killer riff, that's the first ingredient when you're making a, you know, a kick-ass song. And then it, you got to think of, a, of the groove or maybe combination of a groove part and then a fast part. You got to have a fast part somewhere. You got to have it. You know, never gets old. Playing fast is great. Playing fast is amazing. It's always cool. Put put some kick-ass lyrics to go with it. You know, mean what you say and say what you mean. You know, like whenever you, whatever you're singing about, do it with purpose. You know, do it with from the heart. And people see through that. You know, they will see that you mean uh, when you're saying those words, they're coming out with the with the truths, with with hard truths. It's killer, and uh, I think those are those are yeah. We with those ingredients, you can start making a kick-ass song. <laughs> I'm forgetting exactly the word, but just having. A, I don't really like a song that is just doing one thing the whole time. Like I want there to be like dynamic. Dynamics. Yeah. That's exactly the word I'm thinking of. Is a good song to me at least, and. What do I know? Um, is just like dynamics. It doesn't feel heavy unless there are moments that are light. It doesn't feel yeah. fast unless there are moments that are slower and brooding. And to me, like a great death metal song is one that can kind of capture all those elements. Like you can think of like like death's symbolic. Like that is an amazing song because it just starts strong and slow, and then it just brings you on this journey of just like all the different extremes, there's melody, there's crazy solos, there's crazy drum work, it's so blisteringly fast, but also just like powerful, big moments that I think some songs will fall short of because they aren't trying to achieve as much. I don't know. Just riffs, dude. Don't don't overcomplicate it. Like Just write good riffs and trust in them and play them more than once because I feel like so many bands write a sick riff and they play it one time. Like. Let that shit ring out a little bit. Let people feel that. So just keep writing riffs, dude. Work on your riffs. That's all I got to say. Metal's meat and potatoes, right? I mean, you got to have fast drums, thunderous bass, you know, buzzing riffs, and a vocalist that could, you know, cut glass. And uh, as long as you got those elements, I think everybody 
feels the metal and you know there's nine trillion bands that do that stuff and they do it in their own way so i i, I think you keep it pretty simple riffs and lyrics about murder so my drummer don't get mad at me blast beats fucking an hm2 pedal <laughs> <laughs> so i think it's I think it's fucking riffs, man. If you ain't got riffs, you ain't got nothing. Fucking driving guitars, riffs. I'm a dude that loves fast parts, and I'm a dude that loves heavy parts. Like, I was a power violence guy since I was a fucking teenager. I was a grind kid since I was a fucking teenager. I love fast and fucking heavy that start, stop, just, just relentless pummeling, and then giving you a little bit of breathing time with a slow, heavy part, and then pummeling again. That's that oh, for, for me. That's that's the perfect recipe. Well, I mean, that's for some of the most fucking perfect power violence bands are a combination of that fucking fast in your face to the just the fucking sludge parts that just yep. like almost fucking kill you yeah pummeling you giving you enough breathing room for you to be like and then just kicking your ass again that's what i like but also don't let this fucking dude fool you at the same time like yeah you can say the guitar parts the drums shit like that makes a heavy fucking <clears throat> song and it fucking gets you in that spot but dude but saying the right fucking thing at the right fucking time i think will make a riff fucking a million times harder i mean totally. think of some of the fucking mosh calls you have that are fucking powerful and it's just like hey the riff fucking stands on its own but you say something that just makes people fucking mad and makes it almost makes you feel something before that music comes on and i think that's almost as important if not more important to the music we write totally yeah i agree we come from a hardcore like, world we love sing-alongs like that that microphone isn't just oh, mine that. this is a fucking community this is a DIY community. It's all the same energy on stage. So if you want to come sing along, take the mic. That's, yes. Key elements to a kick-ass, hardcore, or metal song. Good riffs that come back at the right time. Catchy riffs, you know. I have a very wide variety when it comes to music, but I know I like a good beatdown band. If you know bands like Division of Mine, Pain of Truth, just all these, these new hardcore bands are bringing back that old style. That's just really appreciated by a lot. Maybe not all, but the elites. <laughs> Heavy fast parts. That's it. Just like literally like grind, 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 breakdown. There we go. Fuck yeah, I like that. Like just pulverizing hateful shit. Hateful sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like the right seasoning. <laughs> hit hard, rim shot the snare for every hit. Have some sick fucking grooves. Play fast. Yeah, I would just say play fast and hard. That, that's all you need to do. Oh, and uh, don't fucking half time your symbols on blast beats, you fucking cowards. Play that shit for real. Um, big fucking chorus. Don't forget about that shit. You know, you gotta have something to sing along to. Kick ass guitar solo. Other than that, it's just gotta be driving, you know? Fucking heavy, a lot of chug chug. Don't forget your downstrokes. Um, I don't know, man. There's so much different types of heavy metal. It's like, you know, as long as it's fucking loud and heavy and fucking kicks ass, that's all you need. <laughs> uh, dynamics. That's, for me, number one, you have to have the fast parts, you have to have the slow parts, and it's the way you connect them together, which makes it fun. Having a song that's just fast all the way through, that's fucking boring. Or something that's mid-tempo all the way through, it's fucking boring. You gotta mix the two up, and it's the way you string it together, and that's what makes it good. For me, at least. Obviously, you want to have like a good sick tempo with some cool riffs. Maybe just throw a little, little interesting twist in there. Make it your own somehow, man. Whether it's like a weird structure, a weird chord, just do something, man. Be creative. A gnarly kick drum sound, a gnarly snare sound, a gnarly riff, and something fucked up to talk about. Yeah. Growls, gutturals, squeals, snorts. Whatever, whatever dumbass noise you can make, put it on there and sit. D beats. I definitely want to have like a like a Slayer beat and a blast beat in there too. One foot like repulsion style if you can. Although you know whatever. Like if you want to go faster, that's cool. Maybe some of those like chonky squealy like jump 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 wee jump 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 wee kind of riffs. Maybe just like one, but tastefully, not like the whole song. And then other than that, like a uh, dive bomb solo, just it sounds like dial up internet, but like cooler. I mean, especially in the case of like Castle Freak, it's all about just like keep it simple, stupid, like uh, not exactly brain dead, but just like you just keep the rhythm fucking going. You don't want to be too complicated because in my opinion, that's how you lose people. You just want to do hardest shit you can with the most impact. It's all about rhythm at the end of the day. 
People like to fucking add in a million fucking notes, but if the rhythm's not swinging, then it's not good. You can't fucking mosh to it. You can't fucking have a good time. I mean, I don't know. It's all it's all about what you feel. The intention is obvious. So if you're just doing this for a quick buck or just doing it so you can make some money, uh, it's, it's going to come out sounding that way. But if you actually like it, yeah. If you actually like it and you're passionate about it, you know, all that jibber-jabber, um, yeah, it'll come out good. It, it just depends on what you feel, I guess. It's not about uh, the merch or the hype or the fucking, you know, pageantry. It's all about... Just having a scene of like-minded people that want to have a good fucking time. I like fast songs. I like them to go fast. But then you also need that dynamic of when it just slows the fuck down and just becomes brutal as shit. You know, there's so many different stuff. You could be technical, but at the same time, if it's just caveman grooves, that's just as like, just as good. So, just a blend of everything, honestly. Yeah, just good songwriting, honestly. I, I'm a sucker for anything that just, like is inspired by Meshuggah or the Dillinger escape plan and you know so like anything like that <laughs> hell yeah key elements to a kick-ass heavy song I almost feel like we might be the wrong band to ask um <laughs> but I, I don't know I fucking I love hardcore um I love like more traditional grind um and things like that and like what you call heavy is so subjective and relative to the listener um you know, there are people out there whose definition of heavy, they only want to listen to like palm muted slams all the time. I love those. Um, but I think like when you kind of define heaviness around like elements of technicality within music, you're getting lost within like a, a practical, physical thing. I think what makes heaviness for me, total commitment to your art. Like I, I think, you know, one of the heaviest things that I've ever seen or heard of is like, it could be something like Primitive Man, you know, which is like people have called them the heaviest band on the planet for like a, a while. Um, and of course, you you watch it and you get it. It rattles you to your fucking core. But then you could also look at something like Grouper, which is a completely different medium of like the same commitment. It's loud as shit. It happens to be way more beautiful and choral. But to me, it's it's completely immersive and you can feel the atmosphere that the the artist feels um and to me that that's heavy as shit and it doesn't matter whether you're doing black metal grindcore or death metal um if you have that element and you're sticking to it and doing it right you can feel it and that's what matters what makes a perfect metal song is just like it has to have that it factor it has to have something special about it like that opening track on that need to control brutal truth record like most grindcore bands, that would be considered a death sentence to start with a five fucking minute song, but they own it. And there's these beautiful noise samples, and it's not even fast. It's just a nice slow dirge. Like you have to think outside of the box with this stuff. You can't just blast, so do the, the same guy shit over and over again. Even though I love that shit, <laughs> but like I don't know, you have to reinvent yourself as well. I almost completely disagree. I think it should be fast. I think it should be uh, oh. blasty. Uh, oh tone should be good and there should be tons of feedback i never said i didn't like feedback um <laughs> i disagree with both those answers actually i think if there's just integrity in your music in general not just heavy music but you know especially in heavy music if it if there's integrity in it then it fucking rocks i mean the difference between hearing like a fucking um vermin Wood song versus a nickelback song <laughs> You can definitely tell which one has a bit more. I mean, I mean the fucking anger that I'm feeling right now. It's really cool that some of my own personal heroes in life are people that I know from shows. When they're on stage, they're larger than life. But off stage, it's like we can get fucking stoned together and like hang out. And that is like something you're not going to really get if like what you're chasing is some higher like industry standard <laughs> integrity most important thing um it could be fucking noise uh not even fucking musical as long as it feels like it's genuine it fucking rocks man same with like on the other end of shit like pop music folk music any of that shit but especially in heavy music if you don't have integrity you're gonna be uh looked at v fucking badly and poorly very quick Oh, I don't know, man. I don't write songs. I don't know. I don't. I don't write good songs. I don't write heavy songs. As a listener, what As do you a, like to hear? I don't like it to be too long. 
Um, it needs to have good EQ. Like there has to be good low end. But, you know, clarity. It can't just be... Sometimes it can be low end. There's such a broad parameter for what makes like a sick heavy track um it just depends what you're looking for it could be harsh and shrill it could be deep and bassy it doesn't have to have guitars it doesn't have to have drums it could be just drums it could be just a bass i just think uh just gotta hit you right it's so it's so subjective it doesn't matter it's an irrelevant question <laughs> sorry